Mac Cubic projector is pretty all right projector for like around hundred dollars and there are a few things that are pretty great with this projector but also a few things of course with the price that yeah, are not that great so first off the image is actually fine and thanks to the like electronic focus ring you do have a bit better focus than some other cheap projectors but you still have some like unsharp edges and not completely 1080p sharpness when trying to get the greatest focus and this just to do with being cheap so the projector lens also hasn't the best quality but really the overall image quality is fine it at least is bright enough to use in like a bit even of an ambient lighting condition and funny thing as well is that the built-in speakers are i would say okay not great so yeah it is just good enough but i do still recommend luckily it does have bluetooth built in to use a bluetooth speaker or even something with like a headphone or so so the two things that really have bothered me a lot so first off it has a few stock pixels and this could also be just my unit because yeah cheaper projectors but also cheaper like tech does have the tendency to do less yeah, like quality control so it could be that mine or even a few others have this issue and then you maybe be lucky and get one with no like pixels that are a bit stuck in a little bit of a brighter scenario they're not broken so if you just have like normal imaging and everything you don't even really see it but especially if you have like black scenes or contrast scenes you do see two three or even four pixels a bit lighter than the others it is a bit annoying but if you watch a movie you don't really see it it's really just only if you like scroll in the menus or see something like a picture so the second thing that did actually annoy me more is that uh, it has a bit of an issue with 60 fps or 60 hertz content so it has a bit of an like uh, flickering but also with like 25 hertz or 24 hertz or even like movie uh, frame rates it doesn't really can find the most stable frame rate so sometimes uh, you will see in the demos pretty shortly you see a bit of an like two shifting image flickering it's a bit of an issue maybe especially with like action scenes and when something is moving a very fast pace it was a bit annoying maybe it has to do with the chromecast but i also have seen it in its built-in youtube app a bit so Maybe it's just a thing that this projector has a um, chip built in that is just not good enough for the 1080p like a DLP chip that's built in for the projecting. So you know what, let's just go first to some samples so you can see yourself a bit how it performs in dark scenarios, a bit lighter scenarios and even a bit in not daylight scenarios because then you just see nothing because it's just not the brightest projector. But do try to have a different scenarios in those samples. So let's get started.
as mentioned before, it's an okay projector. Really, if you just want something cheap to replace your TV for some scenarios, but also maybe just to have in a room a bit of a cooler experience with a bigger screen, it's an okay solution, really. If you don't mind the image being a bit unsharp because of the focus not being completely in the middle, it is an okay experience. And really on the box, it's a super bright, I would not say it's super bright, 5 watt speaker, yeah, the speakers sound really like 5 watts. Auto Keystone, I did try it, but the problem with Auto Keystone is that it is a bit of a digital thing. So if you have to project a bit angled, you do lose pixels. So you do lose sharpness and you see some gray area around the image. So I don't really recommend to do any Keystone, but the downside with this projector is you do need to place it pretty high. And then the image still is thrown pretty low. So... It really is actually kind of built like a cinema projector because those also have this like very low going throw so they can be hanged very high above the audience and then it will be still be pretty great image but for like a home projector it's a bit annoying because then i have to place it like above me and then it is still like not fully on the height where i maybe have my screen so that's just the only really <laughs> issue with this yeah projector throw it's a bit too much going down for yeah like just home cinema experience and the real big issue on a box i would say is this like 4k and then it says like decoding yes it can play 4k files and it also even looks a bit sharper than 1080p files but yeah it is no 4k projector i have to get straight but it is at least 1080p for sure if you look at the different pixels on the image it is definitely 1080p because if it was 720p or even like 540p the pixels will be a lot bigger and the image would not even be any sharpness so it at least not like f false advertise about its native resolution so yeah would i recommend it as mentioned before maybe if you want something cheap eh, to use for some scenarios but Really, if you want some quality image, yeah, you could better look at an Xiaomi or an Xiaomi projector for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.